Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Daniel and if you are new here, I'm a former engineer and I am running an online course creation agency. In this video, I'm going to show you a workaround of one of the biggest shortcomings that Notion has in comparison to dedicated task managers such as Todoist or Things3. So this video is going to be structured in this way. First, I'm going to describe you what this problem is. Then we are going to go to Notion and we are gonna go through the setup that we will need to do in the app. And then I'm going to explain you how to use this system in Mac with the help of our friend Alfred and also in Android. So let's get into it. Nowadays, almost all dedicated task managers have a very easy way to input new tasks into our systems, be it through global shortcuts in our computers or through widgets in our smartphones. And when I made the switch from Todoist, that I've been using it for over two years, to Notion, this is one of the features that I miss the most. We have to take into account that Notion is much more than a task manager. In fact, it's everything you want it to be. So it makes sense that we are gonna be compromising some of these features in order to use all that Notion has to offer. And one of them for me, it was to input tasks into my system in a fast way. So after playing around and some research, I have found a system that really works for me and makes me don't miss these features from the other apps. So now before I go into Notion, I will take for granted that you already have a task management system built into your Notion setup. But if that is not the case, I have a link to my Notion template down in the description below that it's an exact copy of the system that I've been using for over a year now. So let's go to Notion so I can show you the, the setup. This is a a page that I have created that its sole purpose is to add new tasks into my system. This is a link database to my task database and here I'm just showing the fields that I want to fulfill every time that I'm inputting a new task. So these are the task name, the due date because sometimes I know but mostly it's always empty, the urgency of the task, the estimated time that is going to take me to tackle this task, the project and also the related outcome for this task. The way I thought this setup is to input the fields from left to right. Therefore, the last one to fill is gonna be the related outcome field. So here I'm filtering by the related outcome is empty. So when I finish inputting all the fields, that task is going to be removed. Now, another thing that we want to set up before we go into the actual workflow is for mobile devices to reorganize the order that those fields appear whenever we open one task as a page. Let me explain. Over here, we can create a sample task and we open this as a page. So this is the order I'm talking about because in mobile, we will not be able to input the tasks from this table. We will always have to do it through a form like this. So what I do is I put first the six fields that I want to input every time. So whenever I'm on mobile, I will input each of them. And once I'm done, the rest is automatic fields. So I can know that I have finished. So now let's see how this workflow works when we are on our Mac. Now, because there is no global shortcut that I can use from any other app to go into this page, I'm gonna need a third party app called Alfred. Alfred is pretty much an automation tool for Mac that can do so much. But in our case, we're just going to use it for having this global shortcut that is going to allow us to go to this add new task page. Before we continue, there is a disclaimer. This app is not free, but its price is very low, $29 for a lifetime license. So I highly recommend using this app because it's saving me tons of time daily. So now in order to get started, we will have to go to Alfred, to its preferences. And here there is a part that is called workflows. This allows us to create kind of scripts without having to code anything. So what I'm gonna do is a very basic script that whenever I press a hotkey, I'm going to go to that Notion page. And therefore I'm going to be able to add in a fast way any task I want, regardless of what I have in my screen. In order to do that, I have created this workflow that starts like this. I have this hotkey, command shift G, and then it goes to my Notion page. So let me show you how this is set up. I'm gonna create a new blank workflow. Create. And in here, I'm gonna right click and select hotkey as a trigger. I'm going to add the hotkey. And then I am going to set up what's going to happen after I hit this hotkey. So for this, I will have to go to Notion and copy the URL of this page. 
copy link and come back to Alfred, right click, actions and open URL. Here I have to add notion colon slash slash the URL that we just pasted and we can remove the HTTPS and save. Now we just have to connect these two and we're done. Now whenever we hit shift command K, we'll go to that page, command shift K. That's it. And from here, we can add a new task. Okay. If conversely, you prefer to open your page with your default browser, just omit this notion column slash slash and it will take you to your browser. Now you can do this for all the pages that you want to have fast access to or even to the notion app. I also have a hotkey that just brings me to the notion app from everywhere. And for doing this, we will select launch apps and files, open this. And now we can search for notion and drag it here, select it, save, and that's it. Whenever I hit shift command K, I'm going to open Notion. Now let's go to our Android phone. So now in order to do the same with our phone, we will have to create a shortcut in our main screen that is going to bring us to this Notion page. For doing that, I have downloaded a third party app, which is called Shortcut Maker. So first download the app, then open it up, and here you can select the different shortcuts that you can make. I'm going to choose websites, shortcut name, add new task. And now the website link is going to be our Notion page. So therefore, let's go back to Notion, copy this link, go back here, and paste it. Here we have the possibility to change the icon from an icon pack, from gallery. We are going to continue. And here we have the possibility to choose which app we are going to open this with. I'm going to choose Notion and that is it. We create the shortcut, add to our home screen. Here it is. And now we just click it and we come to this page. So this is it guys for this video. One of the things that frustrated me the most when I changed to Notion was the absence of these kind of shortcuts to fast inputting tasks into my system. But I feel that with this workaround, I have finally fixed this issue. I know it's not as fast as the ones that offer to do it, for example, but I feel that it's fast enough if we take into consideration everything else that Notion has to offer. So I think it's a fair trade-off. So hope you enjoyed the video. And if you're after more Notion or productivity related content, don't forget to subscribe for more weekly videos. See you around and until next time.